Hey y'all, it's Fix It With Fran, where I talk about all things faith, family, food, and fun. Coming to give you a little late night recap and give you an update as far as my What's Growing Wednesday series. Um, here I have my, I think this is my, uh, what is it? Lemon Lime Pothos? I may be calling it the wrong thing. Um, it's a different word, but I'm missing it. But anyway, that, um, there we go. Thank you, God. Neon pothos. So this is my neon. I moved it down here by the arrow garden because I noticed that some of my leaves were getting a little bit darker. Um, I think I have read that that's kind of normal with age because my new growth is still coming out really, really light lemon lime and neon. So hopefully this will like this spot by the arrow garden better. This is a north facing window, but it's really bright, really open, and there's no trees in the backyard. So let's see down here. Yeah, we'll turn the light on. Um, are my little owl succulents that I have um, transplanted. And I'm going to do an update because I need to look and see the name of them. They weren't ID when I received them, but I thought they were cute. I thought they'd be nice little toppers for these owl pots that my husband got me a while ago. It was kind of funny. I mentioned them to him and I told him I liked them. Then I ordered a set and then he ordered a set. <laughs> so I just kept them all. So I have another six or so of these floating around. Some are in my office. Um, but anywho, moving along, this orchid here, this is my first Encilia orchid, and I got it um, from my local Lowe's, one that carries a wider variety of uh, orchids, and I'm just excited about this already because if you see here, these little bulbs, and I don't know how the quality is going to come out with this light, but I was in here with the Aero Gardens that I usually don't turn the light on and didn't realize that that would really impact this video when I decided to record it. But that context being given, um, hopefully y'all can see this and it works out all right. And if not, just bear with me. You know it's all in love. Um, but back to the orchids. When I got this, it was really shri shri shriveled up. And this pseudo bulb was pretty much um, dehydrated. So I soaked it the first day and I only um, soak this once a week. I need to do some more research to see if this needs to be watered more often. But I do know that these kind of like um, ZZ plants will reserve water in the pseudo bulb. You keep an eye on the roots and see how they're doing. And um, I'll also be fertilizing these to see if I can get them to grow. But just so far to have this have um, kind of um, swollen back up and now it looks really healthy, really happy was um, an initial progress for me that I said I'll take that if I don't get anything else. Up here, I'll turn the light back off. Oh no, you need that light to see it. Um, is a picture of what this will look like. I do believe this is a cross. If we go back to the tag of, I don't know that word in Randy I. Uh, so, this is the particular one that I have, but it is a named ID orchid, so that's exciting. We have another little development here because I went and got, so bright, this shelf for this part of the kitchen. So still doing some unboxing and unpacking and getting things set up, but so far I really like this. I put my ZZ plant that's on the struggle bus, um, my what is that? Silver pothos, or silvery and I believe that one had an ID on it. Some of my other African violets, some other little flowers that I'm going to be starting, and my husband and I are deciding how we feel about it. Not necessarily sold on it, but it could be worse. Um, and then this little rack has a little hanging piece. I thought it was going to be taller, and I may have looked at a variety of different ones and then landed on this one, and eh, I'm not the biggest fan. But that's what's going on here. And then the farm has a whole lot of mint going on. And I'm going to be harvesting this and drying it up. Um, these were some ones that were transferred out of that seed starter train. But it's a bit of a jungle. And the mint kind of took off. And it's funny because this mint is actually a cutting from the previous plant that I had in my... What's it called? The previous plant that I had in my Harvest Slim on my kitchen countertop, and it just took off. And that's what mint does. Mint can be pretty invasive. If mint grows in the ground and you don't put it in a container or a pot, it'll take over. So behind that, we have some lovely looking, um, I think this is my Paris Island Romaine lettuce, I believe. Could be wrong, but I think that's what that is. And it's grown up and done really well. And behind that, we have some Rainbow Swiss chalk. Go over to the other gardens. Over here we have 
a large petunia over here. This is one pod and it is out of control. <laughs> so I need to cut that back, but I've just been enjoying it here in the kitchen. Um, there's some thyme also growing in this garden, a lavender that clearly is not doing as well because this petunia is sucking up all the nutrients. And then another little tiny petunia that's decided it wanted to come up too. Have some pothos clipping, some golden poso, po, po, pothos uh, that's growing up and looking really nice. I just like coming down and seeing all these petunias. They're so pretty. And I think this is the pink cascading petunia, or uh, one of the varieties that I did get um, directly from Arrow Garden in the preceded pods. And for my other African violet lovers, these are the two minis that I have that Rob's Dust Storm is still growing and blooming out beautifully. There's another um, Encyclia orchid in the back. My tomatoes are blushing and starting to turn red. You'll see the other one towards the back is blushing too. And I'm starting to get some bell peppers. So if you check out that action in there, yeah. So again, I kind of violated protocol. I was definitely supposed to take these out and was going to transfer them outside. I have tons of blooms coming in on top of this one now. Hadn't made it yet. And then this really sickly looking golden, um, what is it? Uh, golden heirloom tomato or whatever that one was that I've been naming. I'll put it in the actual description. I think I fell into that lot of folks that just had some bad seeds or bad strain that came out. So that one really needs to be pulled because it's a dud. But that's what we have going on for now. Just wanted to give y'all a quick check in. My week is super busy so I actually recorded this Monday evening and I'll show it to y'all on Wednesday. Thanks for watching, y'all. As always on Fix It With Friend, I just want to remind you that I truly believe God has given us all gifts and talents that can fix some problem that exists in the world. And while we may not be able to fix everything, I do want to encourage you to remember that I believe we can all fix something. So till next time, I pray you would find that thing and fix it. I'll show y'all some more updates later. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. And please like and subscribe if you want to keep going along with me on my growing journey. Bye for now.